lads, the Chow Chin Chows, Juge Beats Games here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sun Let's Play. And uh, I've just been to my Pokemon Pelag uh, my Poke Pelago, and apparently there were Pokemon actually uh, there, you know, that are visiting my Poke Pelago. So, because I needed to collect my Poke Beans for today, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's gonna take me a little, it'll be like another 24 hours before I know if they actually stay, and that means I caught them, but we'll see. That's pretty cool though, there's like a carbink and uh, another ghastly there, I think there's like an, another couple of Pokemon there too, but like I can't exactly remember what they are off the top of my head and I don't know if I'll stay. But still pretty cool. We got TM28 Leech Live. In, anyway, in today's episode we are going to hopefully be taking on a second trial. Second grand trial that is. And show me a big uh, spot of water and say there's nothing, you know, there's nothing here. Like, stop doing that. There's something here. There wouldn't be a splash of water, oh, I, you know, if there wasn't something here. Let's see what we got. It's probably just magic up. Yeah, it's just a magic up. Run. I don't need a magic up. I have one. But it's nice to know they're here. Ooh, that's a fisherman trainer. I can battle that with seeds. I can battle a fisherman trainer with seeds. Seeds can take down a fisherman trainer as long as it doesn't have an event that can deal with seeds. What you got for me, fisherman Vernon? You a star, you? Yeah, star you can't deal with seeds. Stormy possibly could, but like, this is not a Stormy, this is a Staryu. You nice! And? What you also got for me? You got a Gyarados, okay. A Gyarados is something that can deal with, not I don't know, like deal, but do, do enough damage to stop seeds from actually doing damage to it. <laughs> because, you know, Gyarados can learn things like Ice Fang and also resist because it's water flying. But Criminal is a thing. Nah. <laughs> oh. That's the Intimidate, isn't it? That's the Intimidate that did that. I almost beat, I would have beat you if it wasn't for the Intimidate. I would have one-shot you if it wasn't for Intimidate. You really need Thunderbolt. Or Discharge. Either way is good. Oh, there's a karate person here. He just stands there and does his karate and not not even caring that I'm here. Black belt Kenzie, what do you got for me? You have a hairy armor. I'm not a big fan of hairy armor, especially since one did an all out pummeling to me and just almost took me down. But uh, I think you've got this. You got this, Seeds. Set up the leech seed. Set up the stun spore. You got this. Oh. Don't like Sophie being out here, especially when Sophie's weak to this. Yeah, let's go for um, let's go for Woody then. Ooh, nasty. <laughs> well, at least the Elite Seed is there to stop that from happening. I mean, I've been doing too much damage, that is. Nice! Level 31 for Woody! Nice! Seed squish level 30. Psycho Cube. Nice. Did 
It looks like there's something here, but there isn't. Okay, what's up here then? So you're the one that Gladian was talking about. Hmm. You don't look like anything special to me. Hello. I'm Pers uh, Palmarella. I'm Palmarella. I keep Team Skull in check. I'm the I'm like that big sister to the numbskulls. You have you have realized what idiots you uh, all these guys are, right? Yes. But I don't think they're but you don't don't you think some dummies are cute in their dumb in their dumbness? No, no, dummies are not cute. In no way are dummies cute. I mean, I'm a dummy and I'm not cute. Yeah. I mean, I would admit I'm an ugly son of a bitch. No one, no one loves me. You know, you know what I mean, right? No. I mean, you're picking on my cute dumb brothers and sisters. Is really annoying me. All right, fine. I okay. I can pick on you then. Okay, Palmarella. Yeah, Seeds, this is not your fight. This is not your fight, Seeds. As much as I would love it to be your fight, this is not your fight. You know what? This is Roxy's fight. I haven't seen Roxy in a good long while. This is Roxy's fight. I don't think I've ever seen Roxy in battle since she evolved into Lycanroc. I want to see Ro I want to see um I want to see Rock Tomb in this. Oh yes! So I hit the table. Roxy goes to level thirty. Sophie goes to level thirty. And a sand it. No, I can stay in on the sand it. You know what? It is time. I need to see this new move that we learned. Cello rock. Oh, that's beautiful. It's just like a quick attack for rock types, really, but like, okay. It worked. Hmm, you're pretty strong, I'll give you that. But mess with anyone in Team Score again, and I'll have to show you how serious I can get. Do I need a potion? Um, Woody could do a potion. Roxy's fine. Not since I'm giving potions out, you can have a potion. You don't really need it, but you can have one since I'm giving them out. This is the root. So that's the entrance to Ruins of Life. Joe! Hey, Burnett! Lily got lost again, so I brought her here to you. Thank you. Uh, she couldn't even find her way to, uh, to the Tide Song Hotel on her own. Uh, she said she saw Team Skull and uh, tried to avoid them, and that's why she got uh, why she got lost. Now I have to go. The Master Royale is uh, has the match, and there's no way of missing that. She doesn't know, does she? She doesn't know who the Mass Royale is. I'm gonna keep it quiet, so you know, shh, don't tell Bennett who the who the Masters, uh, who the Mass Royale is. The Mass Royale. Who do you think is underneath that mask, anyway? Hmm. 
You don't know, do you? I mean, I sort of know. I'm not, like, sure I know, but I'm pretty sure it's him. I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Like, 90% sure who it is. I came here for Nebby. Though, as you saw, I didn't come here myself so much as I was... I was brought here with the professor's help. Oh, look at poor Con uh, Cotney. Let me heal it for you. Cotney's fine. Don't... Okay, fine. I will take a free heal. I guess I just wasted some potions, but fine. Within these ruins waits a garden deity of Alaka Island. This is Top of Lely's uh, ruin. Pew! You, I know you've tried to uh, drag me into the ruins of conflict on Meli Meli Island too. Why are these ruins important to you? What do the Guardians mean to you? Just think what, uh, what would have happened to you if Joe hadn't been there back then. Pew! Hey, it's Olivia. Oh, I haven't seen I have I haven't seen uh, you with Ku. I haven't seen you since I was you were with Kurui. Hey, Olivia. Yes, my name is Lily. I work with Professor Kurui as his assistant. And this is Joe. She knows who I am. She knows who I am. I'm going to kick her ass and take her and take her Rocky M Z and complete my second trial. Oh, sorry. I never did ask your name before, did I? No, you didn't. Topa Lewi summoned me here to uh, to clean up the ruins. Joe, thanks for get thanks for getting thanks for getting to know the people around uh, the people in Pokemon around the Lola. Okay. All right then. You completed the trials of the three captains of Alaka Island. Now you have to face me in a grand trial. Get ready, I'm the hardest battle on Alaka Island. I would love to. Great, we're gonna ha uh, we're going to give everything we've got. My partners are all adorable, rugged little rock types. It's Grand Trial Time! You were challenged by Aya Kahuna Olivia. Trial start! Okay, so you start off with a nose pass. Alright. Well, I need to get rid of your Sturdy, so I need to put up Leech Seed. That's really important. Get rid of your Sturdy, put up Leech Seed. No, but now you have no Sturdy. You have no Sturdy now. No Sturdy for you. Okay, Giga Drain doesn't do a lot of damage, though. That's the annoying thing here. Giga Drain does not do a lot of damage. You have a lot of special defense. And the thunder waves are annoying, but I can keep I can keep going. For now. I still outspeed you even though you're paralyzed. Alright, fine. Even though I'm paralyzed, I still outspeed you. Oh, I was kind of hoping you'd die to Leech Seed. I was kind of hoping you'd die to Leech Seed so I didn't have to waste another attack on you. There's a super potion. God damn it. Okay, that does nothing. Fairy Wind does nothing, but at least I'm back at full HP. Yeah, at least I'm back at full HP. Let's keep going. Let's keep going for those Giga Drains. Oh, seeds. Seeds. 
Okay, Rock Slide doesn't do a lot of damage to me, and you can't flinch me because, well, I'm still faster than you, even though I'm paralyzed. I'm not sure how that works, but you know, I'm still faster than you because rock types are very slow. Ooh, nice. Okay, I'm back up full HP now. Leech Seed is going to take you down to the red, the very red. It's not going to kill. Oh, it's not going to kill. Oh, I was kind of hoping I'd still... I guess Leech Seed will kill you this turn. Yeah, Leech Seed's got to kill you this turn. Yeah, it does. Cool. What you got for me, Baldor? I can stay in another Baldor. I can stay in another Baldor. On Lycanroc, I might have uh, trouble, because I know she has a Lycanroc, because that's what she had for me when on my main file. Nice. Ooh, that, that one did way more damage. You have no special. You have no special. Oh. That, that one Thunder Wave is going to annoy me. That one Thunder Wave is going to really annoy me. There we go. Baldor down. Nice. Now for a Lycan Rock. All right, criminal. Okay, so she has Lycan Rock Moon form here. This is like an Ox Midnight form. I believe she will always have the opposite form of the game you are playing. So I'm playing Sun. She has uh, the Midnight form here. If you are playing Moon, she will have the daytime form. You know what? It is time. You can throw a rock at me all you want, but it is time. It is time. Throw it all. Use Hydro Vortex! No. <laughs> That's too OP, criminal. That's too OP. Yes, you can load Signal Beam. Um, let's get rid of Bubble Beam. You don't need that. Roderick goes to level 33. Wants to learn Fury Swipes. No, you're okay. Siege goes to level 31. Siege wants to learn Helping Hound. No, you're okay. How lovely. There we go, seeds. Take your medicine and get better. There we go, seeds. There we go. Also, I've been upgrading. I've been using my beans to upgrade my poke, uh, my pokey pelago to. So now I've got like a level. T I've got the isle. I've got the island where you can get all the items now as well. And I've also leveled up my berry fields to level two, so I can now grow twelve berries. So I'm getting there. You know, I'm getting there. It's going. My Pokepelago is going to be amazing. Diamonds only sparkle after coal has been pushed to its absolute limit. You guys are the best. Thank you. Here, 
The Rock Sea Crystal. The Rockium Sea is yours. Yay, we have the Rockium Z. I guess we can give that to uh, Roxy. You obtained the Rockium Z. The Roxy power uh, has. Now you have to draw and move out like this. Watch carefully as my hip move. Watch my hip movements. Okay. Use it well. I will. The rock type. It's hard, sturdy, rugged, and physically strong. So nothing like me at all, I guess. Opposites really don't uh, do attract. I suppose you can put it that way, Olivia. Pew! Oh look, oh look, very pleased, don't you? You look very pleased, don't you? By the way, Lily, uh, this might sound like a weird question, but why even come out to the ruins of life if you're not a trainer yourself? Oh, because of Nevi. It's not, it's not ordinary, uh, a girl from here. Uh, uh, it's it's not ordinary from here, but I want to uh, help Nebby get back to its own home. But I don't have any idea how to do that or what that is. It seems fond of ruins for some reason, so I keep on visiting them, hoping maybe that it would find some kind of clue to help it. You certainly don't seem like a Pokemon that you see every day. Top of Lele may be called the guardian deity of it, our island, but it also runs wild sometimes. Regular Pokemon normally avoid the guardians at all costs, unless they're strong enough to face the, the Toppos themselves. Pew! Wait, that can't be right. I think uh, you have to, uh, uh, I think your journey will hold many surprises and I hope m hold many joys. I'll take you back to town, Lily. You're doing everything you can for, uh, for your partner, even though you're not a trainer yourself. I think I like a person like that, so I can't help but give you a hand. Oh, you're... Oh my god, damn police cars going past. Oh, so you're uh, uh, the Kukuna, Olivia. I'm Halo from Ikui Town. You've got to let me battle you. Oh, hey, Joe. Guess what? This weird green-haired guy from the altar, for, uh, from altar told me to come to uh, the Hundo Grand Resort once I was finished. Uh, with my grand trial on a lacquer. Crazy, right? Oh, the Alder Foundation. I'm not sure what he wants, but Joe, you better go and find out. If you don't uh, keep him, if you don't want to keep him waiting, then Charizard should get you there in no time. The Hundo Grand Resort lies past the bridge and the near the Dimensional Research Lab. The Older Foundation. The Older Foundation. Hmm. I think I'll stay here. I'd like to see how uh, how House Battle goes too. Hmm. Even though I hate seeing Pokemon get hurt, but. I know how I know that both of you are and your Pokemon are tr deciding to battle beside you two. Yet yeah, the Pokemon have decided to battle beside us. 
I may be not be as strong as my gramps, Hala. But I can still raise up my Dartrix. And the rest of my team to do their best. You're just how, right? And what's with uh what's wrong with that? Who cares if you're not as strong as Hala, your uh Hala's gr Who cares if you're Hala's grandson? Now show me, what can Hal do? Sadly, we don't get to see how battle. I'm going to go and fly my way to the... I need to go to here, the Hondo Grand Resort. I think if I fly to the battle, uh, to the Royal Avenue, I get, can get there quicker. Plus, I can go to the Pokemon Center. But I think that's closer than... Uh, uh, then flying to the main Pokemon Center of that town. So let's fly to Royal Avenue. Let's heal up my Pokemon. And let's use that. Uh, and then we'll go to the Honda Grand Roots Hotel. Alright. Right, I want to... Uh, before we go and do this, I want to give the Rockium Z... To Roxy. There we go. Roxy, now you have a rock move that I really like. Because we get to the Continental Crush now, and that's really cool. So, this is the Honda Grand Resort then. Yep, this is it. Hello. Alright. I hope they don't mind me riding Tauros around here. It seems like a pretty posh establishment, so I probably shouldn't ride my Tauros around here, but I will. Yay, Pelpus flying! That Pelipper. Do you think it's uh, wild, or does it belong to someone at the hotel? I want to get carried around in Pelipper's beak to to take me somewhere. No, you do not want to get carried around in Pelipper's beak. That sounds wrong. Alola is uh, so interesting because it has all these different architectural st uh, styles. Thanks to so many people for coming out all the way over here. Hello. I can't talk to you on Taurus. All right, fine. Okay. I don't think we have enough time to go to the uh, uh, to actually go and talk to the person right now so I guess we'll just go on to the uh, boat hit I guess we'll just continue to talking to everyone around here get my Zygarde cube okay there's there is some puka muku around here I need to go and uh Right, I need to go and clear up. But also, I believe I can find Pukamuku around here too. Because I actually, I've been told I can catch one. Are you one? That's a star you. But I don't have a star you. So that's important to me. Go seeds. I actually want this. I don't have a star you yet. Don't have a star you yet, so let's go and get this. Um, quick ball, quick ball might do enough. You know, I mean, this is the second turn. Oh, critical catch! Critical catch! 
Nice! Critical catch. We gotta star you. Large numbers of these Pokemon make their homes by at the seaside. At night, a strange red glow radiates from the center of their bodies. Oh, and it adds Stardust! Awesome! So now I have some Stardust in my bag too. Pukamuku, I need a Pukamuku. Can I actually get Pukamuku for this? That's a star you, I don't need a star you, thank you very much, game. I don't actually know where Pukamuku is, if it's uh if it's something that appears on the sand or if it If it appears on the sea or if it's in the sea through surfing or if it's uh If it's on the sand or if it's somewhere else. I don't know where it is exactly. But I'm going to keep on looking for it. That's another star you. It's good how star you just appear up on the sand. Okay, this is probably another star you too, isn't it? Yeah, it's another star you. Okay, I don't need another star you game. Run. Okay, so there's uh, this encounter too. That's a tentacle. I don't need a tentacle right now. I already have one of those too. I want a Pukamuku if I can find them. Just don't know how to find them yet. Okay, so you're another Pokemon. What are you? You're another tentacle. I don't need you. Go away now. I'm going to run from you because I don't need you. I need a Pukamuku, if anything. Pukamuku, if anything. I don't know exactly how to find them yet. So they, have, they could be a fishing encounter, they could be a surfing encounter. What are they? What are they? They are surfing encounter, they are fishing encounter. What are they? I find them on the side need of the pool, or do I have to venture deep into the, the actual sea to get them? I know they're around here somewhere, I just don't know where exactly to find Pukamuku. And I just need to find that out exactly. item here. Black glasses! Nice! Someone just left their sunglasses on the middle of the uh, on the middle of this desert island. A 
that's what that means. Uh, still no Pukabuku stuff. I think I'll battle these trainers off screen. This is a few trainers in here. But there's still no Puka. I don't exactly know where Pukamuku is. Okay, so I think. I mean, I don't exactly know where Pukamukus are. But I know there's a quest with Pukamukus. You! Greetings, sir. Uh, Glistening sweat, slippery grew. It's the tune of Hondo Beach. Uh, going Pukamuku character. Uh, checkers and are desperately needed. Would you become a Pukamuku checker? Yeah, I'll become a Pukamuku checker. I'm one of the staff uh, members responsible for keeping Hundo Beach uh, spotless for our guests. But Pukamuku sometimes wriggle up uh, on our beach from the sea. I don't know why, they just do. And But we have to. We can't just leave them here. They'll slip up on the land. Uh, it's not at all good for them, so... Okay. I will put the Pukamuku back in the sea. Yeah, sure. I will be your Pukamuku checker. Okay, so there's Pukamuku around. Now. Maybe once you've done this quest, you can find Pukamuku in the sea. Maybe. I don't know. All I know is there's Pukamuku on this beach, and you can get money from doing this quest. So, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to go try and... And then I'm going to do... Go off... And I'm going to end this episode, and then we're going to go and... Maybe off-screen we can try and... I can try and find a Pukamuku. Because I want to find a Pukamuku. I want to show. I want to show it off. I want to show its dex description to you guys. And I also want to uh, get the money from that person back in the clothing shop. Okay, so that's all the Pukamuku. Can I talk to you? Hello. Yep, I did it. And I got 20 grand from that. Oh, yeah. All right. So they come back up next ta uh, next morning. So I guess you could possibly do this constantly. Or they just appear on the beach and that's how you get them. Maybe, I don't know. Ah, there's a Pukumuku. Okay, this episode's going to be kept going just for a bit so I can catch this Pukumuku. So it is after the quest they become at, uh, they become available to you. All right, fine. Get in the ball. Oh. Uh, let's try something else then. Let's try a Premier Ball. Do you like this all white ball? One. No, you don't like the you don't like the Premier Ball. All right. I have to be very careful not to kill these things because of their uh, that move innards out. Because however much damage to you. Uh, you do to them when they die. That's how much damage they do back to you. When so it's really, really bad.
Okay. Just keep on spamming Fairy Wind, Joe. Shouldn't kill. Because it doesn't... It does barely any damage to these things. You might live one more. Okay, that's enough, that's enough, that is enough, that is enough damage done. That's a critical catch. Nice, critical catch. I caught a Pukumuku. Puku Muku, number 200. It lives on shallow seas. Uh, it lives in shallow seas, such as areas near the beach. It can eject its inner organs, which it uses to engulf its prey or battle enemies. It's a very disgusting Pokemon, is Pika Muku. I don't really want to nickname it. I don't really know if I want to use it, but like, it's interesting. Very, very interesting Pokemon. And I did say I'd catch one, so there we go. I did catch one. So, in the next episode, we are going to go to the Hundo Grand Hotel, and we are going to talk to uh, that person from the Alter Federation. And Poss... Uh, yeah, we're going to talk to them. Uh, but... but but before we do, uh, before we end this episode off, let's fly. You know what? I can fly back here. Yeah, I can fly back here. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep you guys with me just for a couple of seconds so I can show off what I get from the, from catching a Puku Muku. From this guy. Because I did actually want to find that out. So, we're back here in Heehealy City. And I don't think, if I remember correctly, we're not going to be uh, going back, you know, we leave this island after we talk to that guy, so I don't want to do that just yet. Yes, I caught a Puku Muku. Okay, I don't have a Z Crystal to give you, but here's a reward for completing my trial. Ten grand! Nice! You do get a lot of money from these catching tutorials, uh, from uh, these requests to go and catch Pokemon and show you your Pokedex restriction. You do get a load of money from doing these. Like, for example, I uh, did a Snuffle one and I got like five grand for it. You get loads of money for doing these catching requests. It's so good. Anyway, until next time, I'm just BH Games. If you enjoyed this, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But uh, we're going to end off this episode here. And in the next episode, we'll go to the Hondo Grand Resort and we'll talk to the Alter Federation. Okay, so until next time, Mindela Pokemon, get to the Pokemon, get to the Pokemon, good night.